Little John joins us now. I got this album, as you know, when it first came out, and I thought, how can the guy that does, yeah, turn down for what, be so soothing? But your voice is so soothing in this. I wouldn't think that that would come from you, but something happened to you, John, when you turned 50. Well, first of all, you can't scream all the time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be hollering, can I get a number two? <laughs> what do you say about Albert? Uh, free Albert the alligator. <laughs> he did nothing wrong. <laughs> He's a peaceful alligator. Let that man free. You uh, said you can't scream all the time. Yeah, you can't scream all the time. Yeah. That was, that's my... That's not my normal, that's my voice. Yeah. Mm. But I, I, you know, I had to find the right, for every song I do, I have to find the right voice for that track. Yeah. Right. So it took me a moment to find the right voice. I, want, I really wanted to make sure that my voice was soothing, like you said. And it is. And, and it helps to relax you. And I said the words properly and clearly. So it took me a moment in the studio to figure out, figure it out, and But something here happened to you when you turned 50. It wasn't more just going into the studio and doing this. What happened when you turned 50? 50. Because you're now how old? I'm 52 now. 52, okay. So I started this meditation journey in a serious sense uh, two years ago. And I turned 50. I started to have, like, not health issues, but, like, I had a recurring little thing on my side, and it scared me. I was like, oh, is this my liver? Yeah. You know, because I was drinking a lot because I was in the club, and mm. instantly scared me, made me go to the doctor. Doctor was like, time, first of all, it's time for a colonoscopy. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That co yeah. That's how you know you're old. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get that colonoscopy. Yeah. yeah. So you got to get the colonoscopy. He's like, it's not your liver. Don't be afraid. You just have some inflammation in your gut. Mm. But I had stopped drinking, wow. and I felt like I started to come out of a fog. Wow. And I, I had clarity. Hmm. And, wow. and just other problems going on in my life. And then I met Kabir Sagal, who I did the meditation album with through my, my uh, good friend and attorney, Doug Davis. He introduced us because I, was, I would always have a, a talk with Doug on my birthday, right. around my birthday, about life. We about talk life. about life. And I'm right. like, hey. I'm really, you know, wanting to do some kind of meditation stuff or sleep music because I was listening to a lot of binaural beats and rain and, mm -hmm. and, and ocean. Mm. So through having a conversation with Kabir, life was lifing. Right. Yes, life, um, life. And at this time in my life, I was starting to say to meditate every morning to calm myself. I, would, mm. I have a pyramid on, a copper pyramid on my, my deck. Mm -hmm. And I would get my ginger tea Yes, I drink ginger tea. <laughs> I would get my ginger tea and go sit in my pyramid, meditate, and say positive affirmations. Yeah. Because yeah. I wasn't happy with where my life was. There's one main one. What is that affirmation? Um, I say every day I am happy, hmm. I am healthy, mm -hmm. and I am at peace. Yeah. Because those are the three things actually everybody wants out of life. You're right. Happiness. They want to be healthy. healthy. And they want to be at peace. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say those affirmations every day, throughout the day, before I go to sleep, if I'm closing my eyes, that's a time to meditate too, it, it, yeah. where you drift off. Um, and those affirmations help, and the meditation help me to get into a more positive mindset. You know, I love this because yeah. in the hip hop culture, um, we don't talk about mental health. Right. Um, and we're doing a better job of it recently. Right. But in decades past, it was all about the other stuff, which is fine. There's a place for that. Right. Do you feel like this is something that is at the forefront of young minds, especially hip hop culture or even African Americans? Well, hip hop is 50 years old. So with age comes ah, maturity. I see what you're saying. And growth. So we've seen some of our hip hop elders fall into health decline, mm. mental health decline. Mm. Some of those elders didn't make the money that the other generations made. Yeah. So their mental health isn't in the right place, you know, because of, you know, you feel like, wow, it's dismiss me or certain, yeah. you know, things like that. And just in general, we see in our brothers and sisters in mental states. That's why a lot of, you know, certain, some people are falling to drug use heavy because yeah. of they're trying to escape. That's why something like this is necessary. Right, and yeah. that's one thing that once I did the album, before I did the album, I was feeling like I was supposed to be doing something, something. that I, I wasn't doing yet. Mm. And then after I did it, an epiphany came over me that, wow, I was supposed to do this to 
put some positivity in the world and help people. And you did. Yeah. So um, What's been the reaction to you, John, since? Oh, my God. Um, from people. I've gotten so many friends of mine, regular people, uh, to hit me and say, wow, I've never meditated before. I, I, I tried your album out. Yeah. I actually went to sleep. I had a good night's sleep. I, I actually felt better. It helped me deal with some grief in my life, mm. you know. Um, and just people are really loving it. People are hitting me saying they listen to these meditations every single day, and they are meant to be played every day if you need them. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's, it's a meditation on here for every aspect of your life. Yeah. So you've had the colonoscopy. I, I hope it went well. <laughs> yeah. No no polyps. <laughs> no, no polyps. I'm clear. I'm clear. So are you happy, healthy, and at peace as you yes. sit here today? Yes. And I want to leave everybody with one okay. anecdote. Please do. This is the biggest thing I learned on my journey is acceptance. Hmm. And with acceptance comes peace. If you don't accept what the universe and God is trying to tell you, and you're always fighting for like, ah, I want it to be this way. No, you have to accept mm. what he's telling you. Mm -hmm. Learn the lesson yeah. from that experience, good or bad. Mm -hmm. If you accept it, it will not bother you. Mm. If you have acceptance with whatever happens in your life, you won't ever be stressed. I love Because that. you know it's going to be okay. Okay. I love that. Peace. Powerful words from thank Lil John. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining you. us. Thank and thank you for the album. You I can see, listen I to his new done. album, Total Meditation. Free album. Wherever you get your music. <laughs> <laughs>